Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have an oil pastel painting. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing this on my Strathmore Tone Tan paper. I've got a larger sheet that I have cut down to about a five by seven ish, um, just to give you some context. And I've got my Paul Rubin oil pastels, my uh, both the older version and the Haya, however you say that, and my Mungio and a few other things on my desk. <laughs> so I started out by drawing sort of a bowl-shaped um, vase. I was getting a sort of an inspiration reference, not exact replica, but just for colors and positions from a flower book, the flower arranging book that I have featured before on my channel. So if you want to go check out those videos about um, flower books. They are flower arranging books are great because then you kind of get the colors and the shapes and some sort of the way that the stems go and perspective and all of that sort of thing. So I'm just laying down some foundation here with some basic colors. Um, kind of was going for yellows, obviously blues, purples, and um, maybe some oranges, peachy kind of thing going on. And then I kind of try to echo those colors in the um, container that they're being held in. So you saw me use that Lyra, um, what are they called? Lyra Aquacolor um, water soluble uh, crayons that I've used quite a bit. And kind of like a Karen Dosh, uh, similar type of thing. But I was kind of more using that to move the oil pastel a little bit. And um, it gave the tiniest bit of, of white as well. And then I'm coming in with some colored pencils to kind of uh, get some more defined lines. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice today is a little crickly. I uh, hope you are all doing well and getting in all your supplies and enjoying those. Bringing in some greenery here. If you wouldn't mind checking out the links below and clicking like and subscribe to help YouTube know that to give this video to other people, that would be great. I would be very appreciative of that. So again, filling out uh, these flowers, sometimes you just have to think from the back of the paper forward towards you when you're painting and you have to kind of lay some groundwork and then closer you get to yourself, the more detail that you can add. And um, if you paint something and you look at the sort of take three, beginning, middle, and end, it's amazing what details really do add a lot, even in something like this that is more of an impressionistic painting rather than obviously a realistic um, flower <laughs> painting. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's it's... It's nice you just kind of let your eye kind of guide what it needs um, like coming in with different uh, values of the same color as well is also helpful very accessible though oil pastels are great they have that beautiful creamy texture and work well with other supplies as you see me use here like my color pencils uh, I've used watercolor acrylic um, really um, a whole bunch of things I've used with oil pastels. They really do work well with things. The thing about it, though, is they take a long time to dry. So just bear that in mind. Thank you so much for uh, drawing with me today and painting. I hope that you go try this out or something else. And I thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a blessed day.